It may not look any different, but this meat is special. It is halal meat, which is prepared special according to Islamic beliefs. It is also unavailable in Logan. It is available in Salt Lake, though, at markets like this one. We do have on a regular basis uh, quite a few students and customers coming from Logan. So they stock up every week and they come up. And sometimes one will come shop for three, four people or whatever, have a list. The protocol for halal meat includes facing Mecca for the killing, a prayer saying the slaughtering is in the name of God, sharp knives so the animal doesn't suffer, and draining all of the blood. In addition, fish is always considered halal and pork never is. The moral importance for eating halal meat is to follow God's, to follow God's order and to follow Prophet Muhammad's teachings. Because of this, some Muslims in Logan will have to get in the car and drive more than 80 miles just to get halal meat. This is Yusuf. He can't always make the trip to Salt Lake to get halal meat, so he is adapted. It's frustrating, but it's also kind of taught me self-restraint and kind of um, adjusting my diet. Living in the 21st century, living in um, a small town city in America, it's hard to access all of that. While it's important to Muslims to eat halal meat, adjustments are allowed. If we run out of every option, every single option, is it not forbidden to us to eat a meat from, I mean, regular grocery store? Many Muslims, however, still choose to make the drive to markets like this one. Nowadays, the only option for me is to go to Salt Lake City to get from halal markets in Salt Lake. Jeffrey Dada, ATV News.